what's up, guys? Chaz to here for Sideways TV with Mr. Pacifica. Robbie Bancroft is back in action. Yo, I am here. We you made are making it. some stuff happen. Survive New Orleans. Thank you for all the tips. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you did go silent on me for like a day and a half. Yeah, and you I was thought like, I died. <laughs> Robbie, are you with me, Robbie? I went on the ghost tour and became a ghost. Hey, though. that's cool. That I didn't in find the vampire in the uh, in the courtyard, but but you got there. We got there. Yeah. I got a blood bag, and we were good to go. I love it. <laughs> um, awesome. But yeah, Mr. Pacifica, I'm feeling a lot like Mr. Fogfest right now. You Again, are. This is like, I don't want to do this, but our city needs us. It doesn't so. matter if you want to do it. That's you have true. been forced. Like <laughs> I don't like where this is headed, but you know, <laughs> I, I but can't you know deny what? that. Because, yeah. Okay, but seriously, like in all seriousness, Robbie is such a mover and shaker, and we all see it. We all know it. That's why you get to do all this stuff. You yes. get to do it. <laughs> I have the honor you. of putting the city on my back yeah. in more ways yes. than one. Thank you for but doing it. I thank get you to rope you service. guys in on this, too, and, and share some updates. So exactly. thank you, everyone who watched so far. We're up to almost like 10,000 views, which is like not hard. Not It's hard to come by. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, yeah stays, thank for you sure. for just giving me the, the platform and sharing your energy because I think that's together. what's going to save this thing. All right. So Fogfest, we're saving it this year and you just yes. got a chunk of money from the last event that yes, you just did, yes. which is the one we talked about. We got to shout out winners and also Kim who used to own X Bar. Yes. I, my goal was 5000 We got $9,000. So this yes. is a good sign that like the community wants to help. They just need a little more guidance on how to help. So I'm hoping that these videos and our press releases, we got a fog blog now on the, on the website. Half the board didn't even know that existed. So <laughs> that's what I mean by just getting us more organized and on the same page. Yeah. And then being as transparent as possible to be like yo there's about 31 of us now trying to save this thing and we don't want to save it anymore we want it to thrive and we Absolutely. want it to be the best one yet and we want it to continue uh for years to come I, I have to give you a shout out too because when you first started this there were like a handful of people doing it and now you have like yeah. a tribe of 31 which is really impressive. it was down I, I think the first like sos meeting there was like about 10 people in the room and then i went to the next one and there was like eight and it was like it was like in a closet at the community center. Like I've never even been to that room. I opened up and, and John Beckmar, who's now present, was just like sitting on the, on the <laughs> computer like, you came. <laughs> so, <laughs> You're so, saving us. Yeah, so now we have like 31 people. We got Aaron from Conquer Station. We have Chris and Alex from Sharp Park Tap Room, ho hopefully opening up soon. That's great. Um, you know, Kim came on, Kelly, who's who works at Nick's and does 10 other things. But mm -hmm. it's uh, it's going to take all of us yeah. um, and then to some. make this happen. And then some. And then some. Yes. You need more volunteers. You need yeah, more money. Community organizations, if you've participated in the past, please come again we're gonna try and get you at least as much as last year um if not more that's my goal and then if you're interested in helping um on like the board end or the community kind of engagement and fundraising of course um hit me up and we'll, we'll invite you to our slack channel and then you can also come to our board meeting i, I still can't it. believe we have a slack channel i can't believe you got everybody on board with the slack channel i got a that's slack channel for the 20th reunion for uh, the class of 2004 and that's working out well so <laughs> why do i keep planning stuff i don't See, know <laughs> you can't complain about it anymore i'm trying to get my dad on that. slack soon and then we'll, we'll be good to go that'll be a real <laughs> yes. miracle i love it all right so at the end of this month we have another event this yeah so, so i just cool. got, i got fancy a, one i, I got it i got to shout out double gold day pacific's care that's my other hat that i like to wear um we sell about 100 tickets for $100. It sells out every year, and you get double gold or gold wines. Yeah. Um, there's food. There's entertainment. We're going to do, like, a wine pool and a drawing. So you can go home with, like, a $100 or $150 wine pool. So it basically paid for your, your, your ticket. Your ticket in, yeah. Um, but it's great. It's going to be at the Pedro Point Firehouse, and it's a great event. This is our third year uh, coming. So yeah. uh, you'll see half Fog Fest promotion and half Double Gold Day uh, coming great. soon. But, yeah, That's shout great. out to Pacificans Care, pacificanscare.org. Please check them out and uh, come if you can. You'll be out of town. Happy birthday, Cody. I know. It's my, it's my son's birthday. They will be at Disneyland, but but you know what? I thought I, I was your son. I know. Well, actually, breaking news: okay. I have decided he's yeah. actually my nephew. nephew. Yeah, so he's in the family now. I'm not cool later. enough to hang out with Cody. I just realized. That. <laughs> yes, you are. I don't know one Soundgarden song. But... <laughs> don't worry, he'll teach you. Okay, cool. Yeah, he'll play drums. I'll sing. He's got okay, you covered. Sweet. Absolutely. Um, so for people who can't make it to something like that, yes. but still want to help, they still want to donate, they want to give you money. What can they do? Uh, so it depends. If you own. You know, for example, like a cannabis shop or something on Palmetto, we would love for you to sponsor. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're um, talking about. But yeah, we need we need like the corporate sponsors sure. and we need the big dollar sponsors. Uh, we don't have Genentech like South City or anything like that. So it's going to take a lot of the top tax contributing businesses yeah. to really, um, you know, put their money where their mouth is, so to speak. And sure. my goal is to give you back as much sponsorship money as possible through sales and, you know, and stuff like this exposure. <laughs> and you can hang out with Chasta. It'll be limited, limited time but because she's, she's busy. But yeah, we'll sneak you in there. Um, actually, we tried to get um, a couple couple people to come say hi to you and make an official announcement that I can't yet oh, okay. but someone had to run the shop and another person was saving um, baby raccoons all night so they 
<laughs> Actually, skunks. What? Skunks are raccoons. Baby so, skunks? Yeah. Either way, super We'll cute. show the picture. I'll send it to Dennis. He'll pop okay. it up. But it's Holly like holding a skunk or a raccoon. So oh she couldn't make it either. Oh, she's um, my kind of person. So yeah, maybe next time we'll make an official announcement. But okay. that's what's going to take. Sponsorships anywhere from 2500 to, you know, 25000 But we need a lot more. Okay. Um, but like, for, you know, for the, for the folks who are just like, what can I do? What can I give? You can go to our website. There's a donate page. Uh, anything from like $10, $5. We have a Venmo now at fog fest if we did our job right as yep. well on that um anything it's just you know it's fundraising so anything helps and it's just like voting with your money you vote with your dollar yeah um so you can donate there and then we have two more events coming up okay. and i know dennis is really excited about this one <laughs> it's the 39th anniversary not 39th. the 40th not the 40th uh anniversary of back to the future so julie mel i don't yeah. know if you're familiar with her yes. she does beach beach break entertainment yeah. um she offered to let us come volunteer and we're gonna sell like concessions we might have some of those got fog uh, oh, t-shirts awesome and then i'm gonna try to, to get, get i'm gonna try to get an a mr pacific t-shirt and socks oh if you don't i'm gonna be pissed <laughs> okay, you we'll, have to we'll try okay <laughs> okay definitely and it's gonna say fest. my nephew yeah, yeah you'll, mr. you'll pacific. we'll be me and you yeah later. okay perfect okay, cool. i love yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> uh, where was i so <laughs> beach break entertainment june 29th okay 7 30 to 10 we'll be here for that cool we'll perfect. park next to each other we'll, love it. we'll open up the tailgates um what's cool about that is i'm gonna try to I'm going to have to break into it. I'm sure John will let me in. We're going to go get all the merch that was left over from the 2023. Because this, oh, is, this yeah. is like, you know, souvenir works of art, like sure. vintage, it, you know, depending on how long this It'll goes. It'll be worth money. Yeah. So, yeah, come uh, buy a shirt, donate, concession stands. I think a percentage of those sales all come to us as well. Great. Um, so not as crazy as winners. This is more family friendly. Everyone can come. Um, I don't expect, you know, thousands of dollars, but it's just good to be out in the community. Hey, every, every and, bit and counts. It. Yeah. And this is more, like I said, family friendly. Uh, I think I have to thank the McDonald's and Kimco. Oh, okay. <laughs> for sponsoring. So it's free. I don't oh, know if great. I mentioned that. Oh, great. No, so, that's, yeah, that's you, a headline. You get, you get points for that. And if you want to sponsor the Fog Fest, you know who to call. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. McDonald's, Kimco, yeah, Co. run through. All right. Last one. I had to Google this one because I'm a bad lead singer, but we have a Steely Dan cover band. You had to I know. Google the shame. You can't be my nephew anymore. <laughs> now I'm what, reeling in the years? Yes, okay, but you got to cool. sing it. Reeling in the years. What do you got? That's very good. I'm not, I'm not a singer. Time. You're That's an actual got. singer. I practiced that for about an you hour. You got all That's the talent like, in the family. <laughs> did you know that, though? Yeah. Okay. Go. I run a rock radio station for okay, God's you're sake. You're right. Oh, you're on the bone, too? I didn't oh, know that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'd move my, my uh, thing closer <laughs> to you, but I am on tape, so. <laughs> um, yeah, Fog Fest. Jimmy Vargas actually took over from Josh Armstrong. I feel like I'm talking too fast and saying names that no one knows. I know Jimmy. Okay, perfect. So yeah, yeah absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, we so all know Jimmy. Jimmy's OG, and we yeah. have a very similar story about like wanting to move to LA and then you know fighting off Live Nation. Like it's just it's super cool. So he speaks my language, yeah. and he runs the uh, venue portion of Longboard. Now. I didn't know that though. Okay, I didn't know sweet. he took over. Okay, that's great. Yeah, so he runs the venue, and that's why you're, you're seeing kind of like uh, it stepped up their game a little bit because he just focuses on that and then the new owners just focus on longboard awesome and then uh you know knock on wood we get to do the christmas special there at the end of the yes. year too see yes. how i'm just like i love see <laughs> this is it how he makes all the magic happen this and is and shout why... out to steve who's here behind camera yeah. <laughs> this is why he gets roped into doing all these things <laughs> yeah this is brutal but it, it makes sense no i appreciate just it. Good at it i didn't have to prep too much but yeah tell me about the dance of steel uh the dance of steel yes tribute band yes. uh to steely dan of course and it's very on the men. seventh yes very much seventh of july uh which is a sunday and it looks yes. like it's an afternoon thing yeah the doors are gonna open at three uh Love starts it. at four and then we're hoping to have like a couple food vendors and then if we can maybe a portion of those sales will also go to fog fest again like this is the art of the ask right like we yeah. need to be raising as much funds as possible in all different ways um, while we get the sponsorships kind of locked in yeah uh so yeah if you can come sunday what did i say july july 7th, 7th. i don't have my glasses on so that's okay i got you, you. Yeah. i got you uh tickets are 25 on eventbrite 30 at the door and all proceeds from the tickets go there too. Awesome. And that was something that people were kind of confused on with the winter thing. So I just want to make sure it's very clear. Um, the money that we're promoting and the proceeds are actually coming to the Fog Fest. So these venues and these people are kind of sacrificing, um, you know, their time and their usual cuts. Yeah. Very similar to you guys. You're sinking me in and this is a good That's uh, good their contribution valuation. back. 100%. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, time, money, effort, energy, we'll take it all. That's great. Um, and yeah, I encourage else? you, if you can't make it to these, buy a ticket anyway. You know what? Yeah. Buy a ticket. Please do. Or donate on their website. Just every dollar helps. And then volunteers. If people want to come on the day of yes. Fog Fest, they want to volunteer, how can they do that? Uh, I would say the easiest way is to like just comment down here because you and I okay. were pretty good at like yeah. monitoring the comments. Yeah. Um, and I'm hoping this does as well as it did uh, before. And this yeah. can kind of be a series and we'll come back maybe, you know, end of June, early July. Yeah. And then just kind of keep people updated. 
And so at the very least, you know, we'll make it through 2024 and then the team that comes in and the people who are there can kind of see what it took to get it back off the ground in 2025. But I, I got to just get through 2024. Absolutely. Eye uh, on the prize. This beast. Yes. Yeah. Um, what else? We have a frequently asked questions coming. Yeah. Or a uh, Q&A. Coming? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But so, is there anything on your mind? Do you want like any exclusive? Um, um, any exclusive <laughs> any questions? exclusive answers or what, uh, yeah, what do you I, think I people want to know? I just think the biggest ask, I mean, I see chatter on social media is like, how yeah. much does it take to put on something? Like, what's the big albatross that you guys are dealing yeah. with? You know, people, I don't think people understand what it takes to put on a festival like You're this. right. And it's, it's like I said, it's getting more expensive and then people are like, well, where's it going to? So, yeah. uh, we'll, we will put up more of like a budget once we approve it at the next board meeting. Yeah. But like a hard number, I would say anywhere from like two to $300,000 to there put this go. on. Yeah. It's literally like opening up a restaurant yeah. or, or a business. Yeah. Um, but then you depend on 100 to 150 people to volunteer yeah. for it. And and all of us are are, are running thin. Like the yeah. Rotary only has the same 25 people. Pacific's Care has the same 10 people. So even Beach Break Entertainment, she's like, oh, like, can you can you volunteer? I was like, I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. I can promote it. I can do what I can do. Right. But like getting people out of their house, even if they're affording to still live here <laughs> or, yeah. or on vacation, you know, it's like people have lives. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, quote me or don't, whatever. It's it's two to three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Um. Some of that gets made up with the alcohol sales. Mm -hmm. That's why we can't like stop with the alcohol. You know. Yeah. So it's like you, it's like I said, Jenga. You pull one piece, four other fall. Um, I will buy so yeah, two a couple three. drinks at Fog Fest okay. for Man, sure. You're, you're in it. <laughs> you're like the best aunt ever. <laughs> yes. I will do my part. You might have like a Soundwave Sazerac or something. Yeah. What do you think about that? You see what I just did there? God, you're so good. It's <laughs> remarkable. But here's, I mean, the true story is I've yeah. lived in Pacifica for almost 18 years and I can't imagine Fog Fest not happening. Like Same. it's so built in and it's such a part of the fabric of this town. It's something we always count on and yeah. it's usually the most beautiful weekend of the year yeah. uh, <laughs> because that's just funny and ir irony. Yeah. But I, it, it scares me to think about us being ripped away from that. So we just can't let it happen and you're not. Yeah, you and can't. I'm it's, so uh, proud of what you're doing. At the end, thank you, I appreciate that. At the end of all the meetings, we try to do like one thing that you're excited about or what does Fog Fest mean to you? Yeah. And nine times a ten, it's I love seeing my friends. I love seeing my family. I see people I haven't seen for years. And it's like, so how do you quantify that? How do you put a price tag on that? Yeah. You can't. So yeah. we only get to do this for two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. And then the goal is to give a hundred thousand dollars back to yeah. the organizations. Um, so yeah, we'll play this back, you know, in after September. And if we did our job right, not only did we like kick butt or ass, as I can say on this <laughs> channel, <laughs> we had a great fog fest, and we can celebrate that we gave we're giving the money back. So and I'd love for you guys to be there. And we set up the pillars for the next year. Totally, because you do have to save some money for next year. You need the startup costs because everything's due in the first half of the year, mm -hmm. but we make all the money at the fog fest. Mm -hmm. So that's where your sponsorships and your support come in. Yeah. Um, so I know that life because I've been in nonprofits, restaurant industry, and the music industry, which are the three worst industries. And so now I'm like, oh, why don't I try why to don't I add, fog fest? Yeah. So we, we're all plugged in. I couldn't do this without Kathy and John and the rest of our crew. So I just yeah. gotta say thank you to everyone else who's supporting. Of course, you guys, like people are more excited about like, watching these videos and, and, <laughs> and like it's turning, you know? So I can't wait to come back and say, no more Save Fog Fest. Like, yeah. we'll just see you there. It's officially lit. Oh, we're going to celebrate. It's officially lit. Did you see what he did? Damn, you're good. I do have to say, it's, it is selfishly very important to me. My father-in-law, uh, Bill Michaelis, started the Fun Fest yeah. 40 years ago. 40 years ago. And I have pictures of him out there with my husband. And now yep. I have pictures of him out there with my husband and my son. And yep. now I'm going to cry. But we have three generations of them with the earth yeah. ball and everything. And it's such a part of our family fabric. It's, it's, it's literally the story of Pacifica if we lost that what else would we have exactly the beach and stuff but like you know what I mean like we, we need some of that this culture and we need the human aspect you know we were locked in our houses for so long we want that human contact this is the only reason why I still slightly support events is because I see slightly the joy <laughs> I see the joy on people's faces you know slightly I mean? support slightly. as in get in and this do is only me at 50% you don't want to see that uh, 100% <laughs> This is why I adopted him as my official nephew. Yes. You can see. He does all the things. He's charming as hell. And man, you hit all your points. Look at you go. And I don't look like Garth anymore. I've got the, the man bun back. He's got so. a tiny little man bun <laughs> yeah. in the back, and I love it. All right, Mr. Pacifica merch coming soon, and I'm going to be the first to buy it. And then you guys can buy it after. But seriously, find him online. Tell everybody where to find you and Fogfest and all of that stuff. Uh, the best place. If I do my job right, you'll know. Oh, that's good. I like that answer. We've never had anybody <laughs> say that. We're three for three. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Peace. <laughs>